What's up everybody, Pasita here with Inspire Bass, helping you to advance and inspire on the bass. So you wanna know how you can play faster on the bass. Well in this video, I'm gonna show you a crucial fretting hand tip that'll get your fingers gliding along your fretboard and putting you on the path of playing faster on the bass. And hey, at any point in the video, if you find this information helpful, let me know with a thumbs up or a comment below. Let's check it out. Okay, so a common mistake that a lot of bass players make is that they squeeze their fretboard to death. They really like got this death grip on their fretboard. And although the bass guitar is um, a demanding instrument, you really do not need to exert a lot of effort with your fretting hand, actually. And the freer your fretting hand is, the faster you're ultimately gonna be able to play. Okay, so here's a crucial tip that can get your fretting hand to glide uh, a lot more or freely over your fretboard. It's gonna put you on a path to playing faster on the bass. And it really boils down to this. Know exactly how much pressure is really needed in order to play a clean sound on your on your bass, okay? How much pressure is really needed to make a, a note sound? So here's how you do that. You're gonna start out by laying your hand or your finger on your on your uh, fretboard, okay? And I'm just gonna start, I'm not actually pressing the note yet, I'm just laying my finger on it, okay? And I'm just going to pluck the string now right now, because I'm on a harmonic, you're going to hear a harmonic. If I was here, you might hear just more of like a muted note, okay? So at this point right now, there's not enough pressure because we don't really have the note sounding quite yet, right? So then I'm going to just slowly exert just a little bit more pressure and keep plucking. And I'm going to keep going until I start to now make contact with the fret. Okay, so now this, this is starting to make some sort of clicking sound because the string is not quite pressing against the fret. And when I pluck it, it's hitting now against the fret. Okay. I'm continuously, slowly increasing the pressure of my finger. And now I have a sound. Okay, and one thing you can notice is I'm not really using my, I'm actually not using my thumb at all. Okay, so I'm not squeezing, actually, I'm just increasing the pressure, okay? So how do I do that? That's really just coming from the gravity and the weight of my hand, okay? So if my hand, if I were just to let it just rest, it's just gonna rest on the fret, okay? My thumb is very free, so I'm not squeezing. But start out with no pressure and slowly letting the weight of your hand just take over until it makes contact with the fret. Okay, and now I have a note, a clean sounding note. This is the exact pressure that is needed in order to create a clean sounding note. And you wanna find that for your specific bass or your instrument. Um, you'll notice that I can press as hard as I want. I can squeeze the heck out of it and the note is still the same, okay? So it's unnecessary to squeeze your bass. Just find how much pressure is needed to play that note. Okay, so start out with mute or a dead note. Slowly increase the pressure. And I have contact now. Try that now with your next finger. And your next finger. Okay. And what we're looking for is a note that's a clean sounding note um, minimal to no fretboard buzz at all. Um, that's your sweet spot. That's really how much pressure you want to find. Again, no thumb. I mean, your thumb is really just a guide, really. So a lot of people will say, you know, put your thumb here. It doesn't really matter, to be honest, in my opinion. If your fingers are curved slightly and you just allow the gravity of your hand to just rest on your fretboard, you're gonna have enough strength actually. So I'm not actually using any strength from my fingers, I'm just letting gravity happen, okay? There's, a sec there's another thing to also note with this. Um, I, you'll notice when I play, I actually will put my finger as close as possible to the fret, or maybe even sometimes on the fret, okay? Now here's why I do that, and I, I recommend that you explore this as well. If my fret, if my finger is, for instance, placed in the middle of the fret, which I see a lot of bass players do, look what happens, listen to the note 
if I sound the note, I'm going to squeeze it harder. Did you hear that? The note actually becomes sharp because there's, there's, there's a distance, there's a larger distance from this middle fret. If I squeeze it really hard and make the string try to touch the fretboard, this string will become more taut, okay, or tighter, and it'll, it'll make your note sound sharper. But if my finger is above the fret or just behind the fret, it's impossible for me to go any further. The fret stops me from, from going any further. So even if I were squeezing the note just even harder than I typically would, it's not going to get sharper at all. The note will still st stay the same note. Okay. So that's, that's how you're going to easily get your hand, your fingers to glide. Um, along your fretboard, okay? So it's really a number of things, a few things, but really the main thing is know exactly how much pressure it requires for your hand to, or your fingers to sound a note, okay? And you're gonna do that by sounding a dead note and slowly increasing your pressure until you sound a note. That pressure is gonna be increased by just simply just allowing gravity to take, to pull your hand down, okay? And my thumb is really just a guide and I'm not squeezing with my thumb at all, okay? And my finger is going to be placed as close as possible to the fret. And that's really to ensure that the fret stops me from, stops the string from going down any further, actually, okay? Plus, there's another thing, another reason why that, that is, too. The distance between the string and the fret, it's, it's so quick. It's so close. So your finger will feel that fret. And it just, it'll tell you, you know, okay, you've already made contact. You don't need to go any further. So it can kind of almost teach you to, to have a lighter touch with your fretting hand. Okay? So I hope you found that helpful. Uh, let me know in the comments section below or give me a thumbs up. Um, definitely subscribe for more videos just like this. Until next time, keep advancing and inspiring on the bass. I'll see you soon. So you want to know how you can play faster on the bass. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you a crucial fretting hand tip. I'm going to show you a crucial fretting hand tip. What's up everybody, Pasita here with the Inspire Bass, helping you to advance and inspire on the bass. So you want to know you can play faster on the bass. Well in this video I'm going to show you a crucial fretting hand tip.